All right, we are getting ready to embark on the first leg of this trip. We are flying to Orlando today, Orlando, Florida. We're gonna do a little bit of SeaWorld. This is me and my daughter and my grandson. This is Carol with Solo Cruising and more. Thank you for clicking on this video. I am gonna do a little four day cruise. No, no cruise is little, but this is a little four day cruise um, out of Miami and I'll be going to Freeport and um, Nassau. So I'm really looking forward to that. Doing some shopping in Nassau and then going to Taino Beach Resort. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. So anyway, um, this is a little vacation. I kind of slipped in here um, before the summer started, before the prices got crazy. So I really appreciate um, seeing with um, uh, Sig Freezer her channel. I hooked up with her and um, we started going back and forth and we got this deal on the MSC Magnifica. So I am so looking forward to cruising. I will be cruising solo. Um, my daughter and grandson tried to get on but it was by the time they got everything together to get it on, to get on um, it was all booked up. So we made our way from Tulsa to Dallas-Fort Worth, which is about a five-hour drive. My oldest daughter lives in Fort Worth, and besides it being cheaper to fly out of Dallas than to fly out of Tulsa, I also got to visit with my daughter, my oldest daughter, son-in-law, and my granddaughter, plus leave my car at her house instead of paying airport parking. It was a win-win situation for us. My oldest daughter runs a nutrition smoothie shop, and I got to see it for the first time as well. The smoothies are all Herbalife based and they have some awesome teas and other products. I'll leave her contact information in the description. Southwest Airlines flight was delayed about an hour. We arrived in Orlando close to 9 p.m. and Ubered to the Double Tree by Hilton SeaWorld Resort for a three-night, four-day stay listed here. When my daughter got the email originally, it stated $249, and it was a good deal then. They kept sending emails, and when they sent one stating $99, she booked it and was given the option to choose a date. That's how this trip all got started. You do have to attend a presentation at 8 a.m. on the first day. It was over about 10.30. Then you have the rest of the time to enjoy the resort and SeaWorld. The hotel grounds at night were really pretty. The pools were open till 11 or 12. Um, there's a beautiful fountain and a waterfall in the pool area. There's lots of lights and the landscaping was gorgeous. given was not the best it was pretty dated all the amenities were there just not the best it was clean and we re-cleaned but it was just not to our liking the amenities and the grounds made up for the room it's a good stay for families and pets are welcome
The TV was a good size with lots of channels, lots of USB ports and outlets all throughout the room, a large refrigerator, a safe, microwave, iron and ironing board, and also good quality soap in the shower. The refrigerator was a very good size and kept things cold. So if you had leftovers or bought items from the store on site, you had somewhere to store them. Also within walking distance across the street in front of the resort is a strip mall with several restaurants and some stores. As you can see, the bathroom is the main area that needed the most updating and some of the furniture. Breakfast service is from 6.30 a.m. till 11 and it's not included, but if at check-in you accept the $25 per day resort fee, it's all you can eat breakfast for two and my grandson was free, so it's totally worth it. The restaurant is huge inside with plenty of seating, but we love eating outside. You are seated and you have a wait staff there who are very helpful and friendly. There's a fully stocked store, pizza parlor, candy store, gift shop, there's also a UPS store on the grounds as well. Pictured here is the ice cream shop uh, slash candy store and arcade and also the UPS store. Also in the hotel lobby, there was a bar, a Starbucks, and there was also ice water and lemon ice water available. If you're a Hilton's Honors member, which you, and more likely you will be if you're taking this offer, um, you do have all the perks that go with Hilton Honors. Plus it's a double tree, so you get your cookies. There were always chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin cookies available, but you did have to ask for them at the desk. area has a very nice size pool a large toddler pool and a hot tub in this area and there was always plenty of seating when we swam I'm glad you asked I'm glad you asked also in both the pool areas there were these towel machines and you used your key card and you were able to get uh, fresh beach towels <laughs> We swam and lounged by the pools most of the day. We had dinner at the restaurant for a fee, and at the same restaurant we had breakfast. 
We made the decision not to go to SeaWorld because we had such a good time at the resort. We wanted to repeat the same experience the next day. However, me and my grandson went for a walk the next day and I decided to follow the signs that said trail to SeaWorld. When I saw how close SeaWorld was, I mean, I could see the roller coasters, the parking lot, it was too close and we would have regretted it later. So we went. Yes, pedestrian entrance. Right there. There. There we go. Stick to the trail. Oh, All right. Back up. Get it in. I hope you didn't get that recorded. <laughs> Moment. Okay. All right, we're walking in right now. Let's start in. So. I'm really glad she had this idea. I would have been sleeping right now. <laughs> she had a joke. It was the original plan. The hotel does provide free shuttle service to SeaWorld, but we missed the last shuttle and we were ready at 11 a.m. So check the times. Walking was no big deal to us, but for some it may be. Check SeaWorld prices with the concierge and online. For us, it was cheaper online. There was a large amount of rides my grandson was not tall enough for and we were prepared for that. We spent a lot of time in Sesame Street World and we got to see the parade. This pre-cruise resort stay truly felt like a cruise on land with SeaWorld being an excursion. Would I do it again? Yes. I have an offer sitting in my email now. The room was subpar, but with all there is to do and see and the price at $174 before taxes, that's great for three nights. If you're a Hilton's Honors member, check your email. If not, just Google Hilton Grand Vacations. We arrived at SeaWorld around noon and left the park at 8 p.m. when it closed. And we still did not see all the attractions, but it was a great experience. And for us. Did you guys know they 
Carol with Solo Cruising and more. If you got any value, any good information out of this video, I invite you to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more cruising content. Thank you.